Hi, I'm Mr. Ladal from AI file. Today, I'm just going to show you that how can we estimate the distance from the Roku marker to the camera. So we're going to cover here the two topics. Another would be simply estimating the pose of the marker as well. So basically, in the previous video tutorial of this series, the basic yards course series, we have simply calibrated the camera and then we got the matrix here. This multi matrix contains the camera matrix and also the distortion coefficient that are requirement for this simply pause estimation in the distance estimation of the Roku marker. So basically the algorithms are already built in with OpenCV. So we are not going to write this separately. We are going to use that particular function to estimate the distance as well. So let's head over to that. So basically first thing is first, we need to detect the marker. So are the, the tutorials already available here? You can see the marker detection. You can uh, get the link of this in on the github repository as well i will provide the link in here the corner so that you can grab this i'm just going to go here uh, this is the source code i'm just going to copy this and and here create here another simply directory here so it will be uh, instance so it need to be on caps so let me rename this so this is the directory. So if I can create here the file, so I'm just going to call this students dot file. So this is file. I'm just I'm going to paste this code here. So I'm just going to run this so that you can see this what actually this code can does. So I'm just going to go into the uh, directory. So it would be the distance estimation directory. Then we need to run this n dot file. Before that, I'm just going to save this and then let me run this so file python and main dot sorry the distance dot file so this is the rcp source code so here you can see this but if i can show this up here uh the marker so you can see it's been able to detect this marker and it's going to provide us the id of the marker as well on the side as well so this is pretty much simple stuff uh, that uh, this code does and then we are gonna add some details to this so that so we gonna utilize some functions to estimate the pose as well so first of all we need to simply load in that uh, calibration data that we have it so basically this is really much simple so the path is required for that so, so we're gonna say this uh calib and data path is equal to so this is the variable so we need to get the path of this so it could be one directory up basically uh, here you can see this uh, this is in the upside of this so this is the calib data then we are here so we need to go one directory up and then we can grab this path as well so if I can shift and then you can see the calib data and then we if i can provide you here you can see this is the path so we have got the path then we need to load these file in so basically this is from the numpy so we have used this to numpy to save this so it would be simply calib data calib data so it is equal to np dot load so it's going to load the file so you can see this we have to simply provide here the path of the file so calib data path so this is the one so now it has the load in the file so there will be some data available in the file so before that we uh, because we have saved with a uh, certain variable name so uh, we're gonna get this as well so if i can show you that so let me go through this print and then we can say this uh, here are the calib data Lib data then we need to provide here the file so it will simply print the file names that uh, that uh, you can say the and the matrix with name particular name is saved so it's going to retrieve us the name of those files so let me run this and show you this up. so let me run this so you can see uh, we got this names so these are names so camera matrix distortion production and the rotation vector and translation vector so these are the data we have saved this in file so we need to grab this as well so i'm just going to say here so before that it's going to print this then we're gonna grab this as well so we can say the cam matrix so camera matrix so i'm just going to mate is equal to so i'm just going to say this mate is equal to cam mate calib data and then we need to here provide here the name of this so it would be we can say this here so it would be camera matrix so here we have to copy this stuff and we need to provide here 
and as a string so it would be like this and we need to paste this so like this we gonna save this get these all the camera metrics and then we have the distortion coefficient and replacement vector in the so i'm just going to say here instead of this so we're gonna copy from here so distortion coefficient and copy this and then we're gonna uh, paste this here and then we're gonna get the rotation vector copy this and then rotation vectors and we can say this is translation vector so t will be here so we can say this here camera metrics then you have the distortion vector distortion coefficient so it will be just okay coefficient so we can say this here and then we have the rotation vector r vector so we can say this r vectors and then we have translation vector so t vectors so this is what we get from this like robotic so we can print this but i'm not going to do this here it's very much simple stuff and now uh, now we have to get the for the distance estimation we need uh, simply the marker size or the actual size of the marker so uh, basically it's a square so you need to measure the size one size of this so for me it's about uh marker size is about 18 centimeters so i'll just say this here so it would be marker so I'm just going to keep this uh, capitalized more size is equal to so we can say this 18 and i'm just going to keep this comment here so it will be in the empty meter so probably this is the 18 centimeter for me you have to measure in the real world so it's too bad so if we are detecting the marker corners then we need to estimate the pose are of this so i'm just going to say this here so rotation rotation vector so it will be b uh, so we can say the r r so r sorry r b a rotation vector and so we can say this so t next and then we then another value which is not required so i'm just going to skip this local marker dot estimate Pose single marker. So it, mark. so it requires few parameters. Like unlike here, you need uh, simply uh, the marker, marker corners, marker corners. Then we need uh, simply the marker size as well, the actual size in the real world of this marker. So marker size probably this is the one. And then we need camera met and then we need a distortion coefficient so this distortion coefficient so these are the data required to this function so so basically it's throwing here so let me go through that sorry we have to provide here in the and that is why this was very so now let's pretty much stop that we got this but the thing we need uh, actually the id of marker so like here we got the id but we need the index number so for that we need to calculate that one so for example we here we have marker so we know that the how many markers are detected so we need to know the actual index of each marker so for that we need to do here and the total marker so i'm just going to say this total markers so markers is equal to uh, simply range from zero to the uh, simply marker id dot size so there will be size just so how many markers are available so we're gonna utilize those now instead of uh, zipping through only markers in uh, the marker corners marker ids in the marker corners we need to iterate over the uh, index of this so it would total markers so let me clarify this so it will work fine so basically this is a mistake so here it need to be total so you can see this now 
another thing we need to get the i here so basically that it will be the index number of this particular marker now uh, we got this all these stuff so now uh, we can draw the axis or you can see the uh, estimate the pose of the marker so let me go here so if i can simply here just going to say this draw the pose of each marker so here we need to say this from the open city basically there is another function available in the ruko marker library but which does not work on the different type of uh, open city watch so it's uh, best practice to use simply uh, the open city one so i'm just going to say this point basically it returns uh, data as well so i'm just going to say tv dot draw draw access frame access so you can see this frame access is two points of frame here it's going to draw this camera matrix so it came matrix so it could be image and distortion coefficient so we can say this here distortion coefficient and then we need uh simply rotation vector so it's r right we can say this here i and then we need to translation vector so we need to provide here i as well so the index of this particular one and then we need to know the length how much length so i'm just going to keep this to three probably and two other things less of nine so that's pretty much uh, simple so let me run this hopefully it will work fine here this part iphone and then we need to see this distance dot one So it throws error. So there is issue with much has not good estimate. Sorry, there is issue with that. So it need to be simply markers, not marker. So let me run this. Hopefully it will work. So you can see it's estimating the pose. So you can see this is the estimating the marker pose. You can see this is working really fine. So that's how we can estimate the pose. For the distance, uh, we're gonna use another method. So let me show you this. So you can see it's working. So you can in increase the thickness as well. Uh, you want if you want, like uh, here you have this. So if I can increase this to four, probably, and then four. Let me run this and show you this. So you can see uh, the lines are bit pretty much thick and you can see this pretty much clearly visible so now this is the one now another step is simply to find the distance so which is basically it's already available in this one now uh, the basically we are getting the distance from here this the rotation and translation vector these are the one ones that we are getting here so this these are the rotation and translation vectors so we're gonna uh, utilize those to simply find the distance so uh, let me go through that so if i want to simply uh, get the distance then we need to know this from the uh, translation vector so it would be a translation vector and then you have three values in that so if i can simply go this join the id so i'm just going to say here yeah then you have the distance as well I'm just going to say this here. The you can see the translation vector, t vectors, and then you need here the i, and then you have basically zero here. Then you can simply specify the data for this data point, or you can see this for the your matrix. So I'm just going to keep this to two. So this is the basically z coordinate. So this is how much far to come market is. So I'm just going to run this. But basically, it would be a long floating point number. So I'm just going to do this to round, round, and then we need to round this to two decimal points. Sorry, two decimal points. Let me run this. Hopefully, it will work. Now, so 
here you can see this distance so basically it's not visible clearly visible so let me go through that uh, i just want to keep uh, change the color to 55 so let me that so here you have this so here you have this you can see the distance is pretty much uh being calculated you can see this is 40 40 40 centimeters right from here if i can keep this closer you can see the distance is decreasing so it's, color is not visible as yet as well so i'm just going to keep this to zero zero and it need to be red hopefully it didn't work right okay Now you can see this is uh, visible here. So you can see uh, this is 45 minute, uh, centimeters. I can go away, keep this away. You can see. So basically, you will not be able to hear this because my mic does not catch the far away sound. So if you can see this, this bar is very really fine and it's accurately estimating the uh, distance of this. So the its values are another value than distance. So I can uh, grab this here. Let me copy this and go here. Instead of this distance, uh, we can simply just want to keep this to zero. What we find now, instead of distance, we need to so here uh, we need to keep this. Uh, zero and then I'm just going to copy this again and then we need to here so I'm just going to say here the x because this is a, uh, x but it's basically going to tell us the right and left uh, and then here you have this just y but it's going to tell us the uh, either this is above the camera or below the camera so these variables are supposed to tell that uh, so you can examine this by yourself so let me so here we're going to say this one just going to keep this one probably so not going to count this much sorry i think i haven't changed this uh, so uh, the position of this so it would be bottom right so we can see this stuff okay, this so here you have this so bottom on the bottom right you can see this uh, if I can simply go beyond this like here if I can simply go for this you can see this um, the a, a y value is trans to the uh, negative if i can go downwards it's not going to go into negative value but if i can go here so you can see this x x turns into negative value so basically it's a bit of reflective so i'm just going to keep this short one so hopefully this will work Hopefully you can see this here. You can see this x is negative. On the top side, you can see x is negative, but uh, the y is positive. So if you keep this up above this camera, and you can see this, if I can go this, I can clearly see this. This is basically above this camera, and I'm actually in the left side. So basically, this is telling me that I'm on the left side and also um, above the camera. So basically, this is going to tell us that these kind of stuff as well. And another thing, which is the distance, which is basically the Z, so how far the Roku marker is from the camera. So as per my research, I just found this out. In case you know about these things, these values like X and Y, I've just mentioned this. Let me know about that as well. Thank you so much. And in case you want to ask anything, let me know in the comment. I will try to answer this. Take care of yourself. Allah is. Bye bye.